As the entire world was moving on from the Will Smith and Chris Rock drama, leave it to his wife, Jada Pickett Smith, to entangle and emasculate him even further. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. I'm still recovering from eye surgery. Steph's computer's down, so I'm trying to see if I can do it myself. I hope everything sounds okay. Apologies if it doesn't. But the show must go on. And oh boy, has the show gone on. Jada Pinkett Smith is out there promoting her new book, Worthy. Telling the whole world that she's worthy, guys. She's worthy. And Will Smith is once again going to be completely emasculated by her. And I'm just shocked. Now, these clips came in yesterday after we had pre-taped. And I wanted to watch some of these clips and share some new updates on this. This is just insane because I'm going to debunk this woman. This woman is full of lies, in my opinion. I don't believe this timeline. None of this is making any sense. This is all to promote her book and to get attention, attention, attention. That's what Jada Pinkett Smith always wants so she can feel worthy. No matter what cost her family or husband faces, it's her time always. And let's hear some of these clips that are coming in. There are so many surprising things in the book, but the thing that surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in... Right, right. I'm going to agree with everything you say. Because, yeah, right. Because everything I say is so genius, right? Right. 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. Look at her smiling, by the way, at this revelation. Like, yeah. Yeah, we were separated for seven years. Yeah. Yes. It was not a divorce on paper. Right. But it was a divorce. divorce. So what does that mean? It wasn't a divorce on paper, but it was a divorce. But no one knew and it wasn't on paper, but we were divorced. Girl, that time period was the whole entanglement. 2016 is when you were with August Alsina. And then you made your man come on that show on the red table talk, tail between his legs, to try to give you justification, your entanglements that he had to call you out on. What is this woman doing? It only gets worse, guys. Let's keep going. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now. <laughs> yes. <you> <laughs> Why is that funny? Why is this so funny to her? all have been apart yeah but then you're using him while you're divorced to promote your show to force him to talk about all your weird family drama and ex issues what is it why did he do this but in, in public the couple who married yes in thank you hoda denied the gossip about their marriage this interview on bravo's watch what happens live with andy cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. So uh, how long have you guys been together? Uh, 23 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. So they just went on, she just lied on all these shows. That's amazing. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. I mean, over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. Now, I got a comment. All you like, Andy, stop pausing. I have to comment because this is news. It's all everyone's stolen this footage from today's show. And I got to give you the commentary because now we're, yeah, but they're doing this recap. They're going to get back to the Jada talk. They even faced a scandal when Jada had what she called mm -hmm. an entanglement with a family friend. Mm -hmm. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is... Why? What is, what is this? I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. Except you're not sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I, I mean, kudo for Hoda. She just called her out. You're a liar. You are a liar, Jada. You're a snake. She's exposed here. You're, you're a liar. You're a snake. Why are you talking out of both sides of your mouth? I think just not being ready yet. Mm still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah how to be in partnership right and in regards to how do we present that to people you know and we hadn't figured that out there is just a weird controlling attitude from her during our walk in baltimore jada reflected on their breakup why did the relationship fracture Oh, a 
why it fractured. That that's a lot of things. Yeah, and I think August Alcina, you're you're hooking up with your son's friend. Probably probably one of those big fractures. Just a guess. By the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were. Yeah, she, I love how she's just speaking for him and revealing all yet again, revealing all this. This is a guys. This is a woman who created the Red Table Talk. So her daughter and her mother can all talk about everything. Some of the most weirdest stuff that you don't want your family to talk about ever, let alone publicly to the whole world. And they revealed everything. So what is this nonsense? So the whole time you were just lying to everybody, talking about living your best life, keeping it real, and you weren't. We're both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. <laughs> no matter all the bad I do, Will, you will work through it until I tell you you're not going to do it anymore. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. <laughs> I love that she thinks that she's in this like amazing woman that doing it. She sounds horrific to me. Am I alone here? This sounds like I feel I and if anything, it's almost helping Will for me because I'm like, man, this this man has been stuck in a relationship that he seemingly can't get out of, whether it's because the kid, the family, the the whole uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for the time Will wakes up and is strong enough to get the hell out and push this toxic woman out of his damn life. <laughs> it's I and 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 removes his wife's name from his own damn mouth. <laughs> it's it's time, Will. But you still live separately. We live separately. So funny. We live separately. It's it's hilarious. Hilarious how separate we live. Now, here's an interesting clip, because I'm trying to gather all your clips so you can see, because there's a bigger interview dropping on Friday, um, and then the book drops on Friday, so there should be a lot of stuff, little weird stuff. That she's, of course, cherry picking out. And if, and what's nice to see is even the media is calling her out on it. Um, every time she needs rating her books, she drops these bombshells. It's unseemly. This is from The View, Anna Navarro, who's spot on. Spot on calling out the jadedness. Like, enough. We're over this. It's so, stu it's so stupid. But here she is with another little clip I want to play. As time went on, there are different stages in my marriage where Will and I decided we were not together. Because you cheated on him with a, your son's friend? Is that why? Why do you always not? You're always cagey on that part, Jada. Where we didn't, you know, we didn't tell the public, right? Where. I wouldn't let him tell the public. <laughs> I was actually thinking about divorcing, separating. I mean, there have been several of those, right? What about him? You see how in control of this relationship she is? Sitting back in control of it all. I wasn't ready for the divorce. I was thinking about divorce, but no. As if like Will Smith's just puppy dog that she controls and the divorce happens when she says it happens. And so, and where we've gone and lived our separate lives. So I think within that is where people might have thought that, oh, they must be having an open relationship. Yeah, because it sounded like you were at a certain point. You were hooking up with your son's best friend. And and then Will Smith was seemingly looking real good with Margot Robbie. I feel so bad. I hope he got to hook up with her. My God. It seemed like they were like super into each other. And I wonder if he just wasn't able to. There's a lot of rumors about Will and yada yada who he's really with. I, I don't want to get any of that. It's none of my damn business. But Will has been much smarter and better at keeping his private life private. It's Jada who always has to expose and tell everybody everything. And... But yeah, of course everyone thinks you're in an open marriage because you guys weren't together. But then you were pretending to be together because you're full of crap. We just didn't want people to know the dynamic of what was happening between us. We didn't think that that was anybody else's business. Um, <laughs> but everything else in your sex life and your life is. Okay. Um, and so I think that that's where sometimes that confusion came in. Well, why is it anybody's business now, Jada? You, you've, you've held this in for six years, six, seven years. And now when you sell your book, when I guess you, is this, the, is this the end? Is the end near guys? Is this her doing damage control where she's like, I need to sell this damn book. I need to make some money before I leave you. Uh, I need something to come in. Red Table Talk did not get another uh, network. 
Did you guys notice that? Jada's not in a good place. She thinks she is, but she's not. Will, I think, can get back to a place, and I think he would get back into a place even better. The public would be even more susceptible to him coming back if he dumps Jada. That's just my opinion. Doesn't mean he needs to be bashing her publicly. I think he needs to be the better person and not do what Jada's doing. Um, but there needs to be some sort of little shade or so something thrown. Um, and if anything, uh, something about him, him and Chris Rock getting back together to throw Jada under the bus together. Because yeah, I, I think I'm going to save this for later. There's a whole now slew of stuff coming in. And uh, where she's now basically trying to control Chris Rock, too. It's it's wild now admitting that Chris talked to her afterwards and apologized and tried to date her. Oh, I, I'm looking at the time. I'm going to record that one next. We got so much more coming. Bear with me. Please keep supporting today and this week. It's been, it's been a struggle still, but we're trucking through. I'm staying positive. Thank you for all the support. What do you think of this story? What do you think of Jada and all that's going on? I think I don't know how to put the end screen on. Some stuff will hope will drop. I hope this quality was OK. More is coming. Stay tuned. Hopefully Steph gets her computer fixed. When it rains, it pours, though. What do we do, fam? We keep going. What do you think of this story? Do you believe, Jada? Do you really believe they were separated for six years, or is this damage control? Is this something Jada's saving and putting out as a breadcrumb to get everyone talking about her again to sell this damn book? I want to hear your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet.